Welcome back to DXB Today, where it's all about the future, and the future of Dubai is sure to be a bright one, and we're going to get into detail with the CEO of Prasoon Design. We are here with the man himself, Mr. Prasoon Shrafistava. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. So, we were discussing this on the show even earlier, the fact that uh, the UAE is a relatively young country, and in a lot of ways, it was designed around transport, big roads, big highways. What future can we see when it comes to being more walkable, more smart, more efficient? That's a great question. Uh, see, Dubai has been designed uh, in a very different way. It's not a very organic approach. Um, the way it has been designed has been driven through a lot of economic reasons. And in this journey, at times, we feel that Dubai has forgotten being pedestrian friendly. Right, uh, but that is changing a lot. Right, what we've seen uh, off late with the new projects coming out, the the way we are designing, the way clients are asking us to do, is to be very human centric in our approach, and that is applicable for building projects, and that is also applicable at uh, infrastructure level. So what we can expect from here on, what we've already seen in last few years, the a more and more public infrastructure, more and more public infrastructure, not only for transport but also interactive spaces for them to spend time outdoors. Uh, and I think uh, there are challenges when it comes to the, uh, the climate conditions at times. Uh, but uh, barring those situations, uh, I think Dubai is very consciously moving towards being very, very pedestrian friendly right now. Mm. Uh, do you also see, um, I guess, uh, a growth in mixed use spaces that will blend residential, uh, commercial, recreational spaces just to reduce the, the time we spend on the road, just to make commuting a lot more easy? Yes. So, uh, you know, the, all the cities across the globe, especially the mega cities, are facing this problem of uh, the infrastructure failure and uh, what we call it technically urban sprawl where people end up spending hours on the road from reaching to from one place to the other. There's a concept of vertical cities which is coming in, which means that you could be staying, living and playing in the same complex throughout your life. And uh, we see that uh, a lot uh, of focus in NEOM that they're trying to do. They're trying to build a, a, a line city where you know people can uh, live in the same place and, and work. I think Dubai is also moving towards from skyscrapers to vertical cities now. And that's what we will see in the future that how these tall skyscrapers will convert into vertical cities itself. Okay, I have a question. You mentioned Neom, we're in Dubai, such a futuristic city. How does technology enable the future of city design and construction in this space? I think AI is playing a very important role right now. There's a lot of autonomous uh, the activities that are coming in. Uh, the robots are coming in very, very strongly. There was a study carried out by Tall Building Council which said by 2045, almost 40% of our construction activities will be done by robots. Wow. Uh, the, we ourselves are investing a lot in both AI as well as in robots. Uh, we, you know, we partnered with Boston Dynamics. We brought this spot robot. We will be using this spot robot in one of the first 50 straight hour in Dubai to carry out inspections on site. And, and uh, apart from that, we are working uh, with our partners uh, towards AI, making sure that AI can become a project manager uh, for your projects. So that's a very interesting future for, the, for Dubai. Um, in terms of resilience planning, how can AI uh, be of help to us? I mean, to combat those unforeseen problems that we may face. I think uh, the, it is a function of training the models uh, uh, where we are in terms of AI evolution uh, right now is that the models are available uh, but the training part is yet to be done. Uh, where we are working towards and where I think uh, a, a lot of stakeholders are working towards is uh, trying to bring in more and more intelligence in terms of relevant data, uh, making AI trained to a specific data so that it understands the challenges and manage the challenges. Now, uh, one of the interesting things that has happened in past couple of months is um, the introduction of uh, autonomous agents in the AI world. And right now we are working, uh, uh, in fact, we've successfully worked with bringing in 10 agents together. And these 10 agents are able to execute tasks, collaborate with each other without any hu human intervention right now. So, uh, so to answer your question, I think it is 
it is a function of training these agents and, and making sure that they can be more resilient, they can be more intelligent and they can deliver. Fantastic. Prasoon, thank you so much for coming on the show. Unfortunately, we've run short of time. Thank you, thank you for being smart and for doing all the smart things that you're doing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now, thank you for hanging in here, Tanya. You've been very, very patient. But before you go, we are going to put you on the spot in what we call our DXB in 60 quiz. Okay, Wonderful. Faris, are you ready to take over? I'm yes. Gonna do it. Oh, sorry. I oh, it. you're going to do it. Yes, I want to do it. Do Let's it. do it. I find you so I'm gonna... fascinating. <laughs> thank you. And I know the audience does as well, but good. we want to get to know as much as we can Is this... in just 60 seconds. Sounds good. Let's go. Now, if you wasn't the founder of your fantastic company, Aiden, what kind of industry would you be working in? I would work in ultra endurance. I love working, I love running ultra marathons, like 60, 100 kilometer races through the mountains. I'd probably do something there. Get in. Uh, one thing that you just cannot live without. My books oh. sounds oh. sad. What books are they? I love reading. All right, so. what books are you reading at the moment? At the moment, I'm reading a science fiction book by Sissian Liu Li. Okay. It's called The Three Body Problem, and I would highly recommend it. It's mine. Blowing. She's too smart for us. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. It's, it's, it's a facade. So what's your motto in life and work? My motto is really take things one day at a time, try to be in flow as much as possible, and practice non-attachment to things. Love that. And so people. you've been in Dubai for a very long time, but what would you say is your gem? What's your gem in Dubai? My gem in Dubai? Yeah. What is a gem in Dubai? Hidden your gem. hidden gem. My hidden gem? Mm -hmm. Oh, a place to go. I would say the mountains, actually. It's so right outside of Dubai. You know, there are beautiful trails all around the city. You just need to get out there and find them. Well, thank you so much, Tanya, My for pleasure. giving us your insights. And of course, thanks again, Mr. Prasoon, for being on the show. And thank you for tuning into DXB today. We do have a little bit more for you, but for right now, let's take a little sneak peek at the local artist who's going to be for performing later on in the show. Hi, my name is Jay Albert. I'm super excited to be performing in DXB today. And uh, just stay tuned and watch my performance. <laughs>